Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. In our show, we've had a chance to drive EVs built by billion dollar companies and guys just tinkering in their garage. But today, we're checking out something built by high school kids. So we're here in Kansas City, Missouri at the Regional Police Academy driving course to check out Mind Drive's Lola project. So I'm with Steve Reese, the founder of Mind Drive. Steve, thanks so much for being here. All right. Tell me a little bit about what Mind Drive is. Mind Drive is an after-school program for kids, uh, primarily in the urban core of Kansas City. I had a mentoring program through one of the high schools, and I noticed a certain creative vein in the kids. So the high school allowed me to teach a class. We were doing studies for automobile shapes. And the kids kept saying, why can't we do a real car? Why can't we do a real car? And voila, we're starting to build cars. And then Mind Drive just literally evolved out of that. because there's a chain drive motor. It's only sending energy to one tire. This thing goes from zero to 60 in about 12 seconds. It's got a really nice feel to it. We work with the students on presentation style. First and foremost, we kind of teach them how to speak to strangers. Okay. We teach them how to introduce themselves, give a strong handshake, mm. because these cars have a tendency to have their own social schedule. I'm sure, yeah, yeah. All of our kids become kind of our ambassadors, and so that's the first thing we do. We treat the automotive design class as our client and do everything that you would do as a marketing agency for them. We kind of have the brand voice for the automotive design studio. Yeah. So when you get some kids that come in, what are some of the difficulties that they face? A lot of them, they have lowered expectations of themselves and coming through the process, meeting the mentors, developing those relationships. What we see at the end is these kids with confidence. They might come in with a you know, bad attitude some morning, but generally you can work them out of it. And once you learn about the student themselves, that, that's what you try and do, is try and pick out what's going on in their life and see if you can help them work through it. The exterior shell is essentially the plastic that you have on a window, like a new construction house. Heat shrink it to the body form on the outside. Makes it super aerodynamic and amazingly light. This car comes in under a thousand pounds. It changed me a lot. Before Mind Drive, I was hooked on being a professional athlete, basketball okay. to be specific. Yeah. Um, but since then, these two and a half years, it's really been about my future and what I want to get my degree in, college and things like that. I helped out with the brakes. We document progress of the car, we okay. post on the blog, we update social networking stuff. I'm the welder. Find a hole! Do you think you want to stick around for a while and keep building cars? Yeah, I think I am. I really like it. If I was a part of that, yeah. that'd be a nice little recommendation thingy when you're going into colleges and you're going to jobs. Be like, hey, I built a car. Yeah, what that's pretty good, done? right? Yeah, what have you done, right? <laughs> Is this something you could see yourself doing in the future? Is working on kind of future transportation technology stuff? Yeah, maybe. Is that something you ever thought you would be doing? Not really. Would you drive an electric car? Uh, it might cramp my style. It might cramp uh, your style, why is that? Swagger, I couldn't, I would drive a car. Okay. But if you look at the ones now, they're not really swagger -fied. Right. They, they look more like fuel efficient. So you're yeah, still trying to suss it out. Work. You're a torn man. Yeah. You really, you really love the global perspective yeah, of yeah. electric cars, but you don't want to lose your swag. Right, right. I feel that, man. Okay. I do, you know I, what I mean? I feel like we can relate. We somewhere. totally relate okay. on that, yeah. yeah. Last year, the first generation car was designed for efficiency only. And we started with this real simple motor with a chain and a, another chain. And in doing the testing last year, the thing that we found had the greatest impact on the efficiency of the car was lubricating the chain. <laughs> so we immediately said, we're not going to have any more That's chains. problematic. Yeah, yeah. rather. So we immediately thought, let's get rid of it. Let's just put a, a motor in the hub. Basically, we tried to put a table in front of the kids okay. with parameters and tools, then they can make decisions from that. So no, they don't know what a hub motor is to start with, but we talk about different systems and they go, yeah, that hub motor makes sense. I like the overall look. It just describes like everybody in a different way. 
If you look at certain parts, like if you, you know, get to know the people, you could tell like who came up with what idea or, you know, and stuff like that. That's it's, so cool. It's real nice. Yeah. Okay, so what's the future of Mind Drive? Are you guys gonna be in every city in the country? Or you just wanna stay here and grow bigger? What are your thoughts? Both, I mean, we, we're gonna evolve. Our goal is to try to get this word out about this technique for teaching kids. All right, that's it for Mind Drive. Clearly this is more than just a badass shop class. This is a social program and it's changing lives one kid at a time. For more information, check out minddrive.org. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasmeyer. See you next week.